Welcome to One Adventure Knox and today I'll be counting down the 10 best nature focused things to do on a trip to North Wales. The list is based on my time in the area in 2021. What are your thoughts on the 10 activities on the list? Would you swap them for something else? If you would, let me know in the comments below. Number 10. Explore the Porthwen Brickworks on Anglesey Island. Abandoned during the First World War, the site is free for the adventurous among us to explore, whether that's by boat, kayak or on foot. It does, however, take a little effort to reach, so if going on foot, be sure to wear a good pair of shoes. Number 9. Wander up to Abba Falls. A small walk leads to a mighty waterfall. Be sure to take snacks or a packed lunch as it's a perfect picnic spot and you might fancy a dip too. Number 8. Hike Connect. At just under half the distance than it is to hike Snowdon, considerably less than half the numbers of people, and a scramble just before the top to add in a bit of variety, the mountain of Connect is a right corker. It affords stunning views over both its neighbouring mountains and the coast, and has an adorable tea room at its base for refuelling afterwards. Number 7. Try Welsh food in an amazing setting. From the sweet and fruity Barra Brith and Welsh cakes that can be eaten as snacks on a mountainside or next to thundering waterfalls, through to Welsh rabbit, Manai mussels and Welsh lamb, it's not just Southern Wales that has all of the good food. Be sure to pick a stunning location to enjoy it in. Number 6. Take a self-guided tour around Paris Mountain. Over on Anglesey, an old copper mine has been opened up to the public, free to access and free to park at but with numbered waymark posts that allow you to wander freely and learn about the mine's past. The land looks more akin to Iceland or Yellowstone National Park, making it a very unique experience within the UK. Number five, wander amongst the abandoned quarries around Llamberis. In keeping with the old mines, the area is also home to old slate quarries, with Dunorwig just up the hillside from Llamberis being of particular note. Well-maintained hiking trails allow you to wander through the ruins of the quarrymen's houses. You can make a pit stop in Slamboris itself for lunch and walk back to where you park the car via Vivian Quarry's terraces, passing the pretty quarry lake as you go. Number four, meander around the pathways of the National Trust's gardens of Bodnant, taking in the blaze of colours and the pretty architecture throughout. Spring is a wonderful time to visit with its laburnum arch and the hundreds of rhododendrons. Number three, take a gentle hike around the National Trust's trail from Aberglaslin through a thundering gorge, a slight detour in the town of Bethgelert, lunch at Llindanath, and up to an old mine where the descent follows Coombachin, an old aerial ropeway before looping back to the car park. Number two, visit Lanthwin's Lighthouse at Golden Hour. Walking through a stunning forest and a pretty beach with mountains on the mainland in the distance, the walk is a reward enough, but then the sight of the lighthouse at the end of the island is just the cherry on top of the cake. Number one, hike the glitters. With this hike, you get two mountains for the price of one, and what an experience. It starts gentle enough wandering around Llyn Idwal before the scramble up Devil's Kitchen begins. Once at the top of this section, it's not time to relax yet as the next part is over very loose scree. The boulder field that follows is a relief leading to Glidervac, a magnificent rock formation looking out onto Snowdon. A slight dip down and back up again leads us onto Glidervor with its cantilever stone and then the hike back to the trailhead is just as stunning with views over Trevan, more mountain lakes and tumbling waterfalls. If any of these locations and activities take your fancy, you might be interested in my 11 part North Wales travel vlog series. So click on the playlist to find out more.